Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you all doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Check out the top right eye for even more nice links. And also consider joining the live streams when they're up. It's really fun hanging with you guys live and talking about all kinds of game development and stuff. Also developing a game live, so maybe you find that interesting. Uh, but anyway, back to this series. So. I haven't worked on this for a while, I took a little break, but I know that we were working on tabs and we're going to make sure that we can hide tabs and display them when we want, as well as render them properly. So where we are right now, in case you've forgotten, uh, we created a few classes. We have the character tab, the player GUI tabs, which is the whole main holder for all the other tabs we're going to have, the tab class which is the base class for each individual tab and then we have our player gui itself which will hold the player gui tabs so imagine that being one little box so that's my my whole thing here is just to draw it out for us it's very simple actually we have our player gui like this on the whole screen and this class has a player gui tabs type thing maybe it's something like this and this one in turn will be able to open up different types of tabs either through button clicks here or through uh, keyboard commands so that will be very nice so if, if we if we decide to display this tab the player tab player character tab then that's going to show boom that's going to show right there it will have a set space uh, set place on the screen where it will show and then we can hide it so then it will just go away like that and then we can do the same for others so it's very very simple kind of a design idea here and we're going to try to implement that as we can in the videos going forward so we can see some data on the character before we start with the, the different uh, inventory items and all that stuff. Um, so before further ado, let's go ahead. Let's go into our tabs.h. So we have a few different things here that are protected. Uh, we also may, might want something that is this is a abstract class as well because as you can see, there is a equal to zero here. So what I'm going to do is I'm also going to give this a boolean hide hidden and this boolean hidden is going to be set for us. Let's go into our tab.cpp and we'll see why this is complaining. Uh, let's see, there should be a tabs. Well, we do have it here, so it shouldn't really matter uh, that it will default to hidden will default to false or true let's say true okay and but for our sake let's see we'll we'll see we'll figure that out anyway anyway you, we have this uh good we have initialized it good now in the character tab we need to do the same thing we need to go in here and we need to say we want tab as It'll be false by default. You know what? Maybe we want to create a tab that has a boolean, boolean hidden like that. And then we're going to say in the CPP file, we're going to do the same thing here, bool hidden, and just put this to hidden. All right. So we'll have this whole thing going here. So we can choose through the other tabs, what we want it to be by default. So I'm just going to say here, uh, false. So it's not really hidden in our case. And we're going to go to render character tab dot render. Now this render function will itself take care of if it's hidden or not. So if this hidden, then we will, there we go. Then we will not do any of this. So it will not render if it's hidden. Very simple, right? But we also want the same logic in here. If this hidden, then we will update everything. Otherwise, we won't update nada. So that's good. We're not updating anything right now as of yet. Everything about hiding and showing these will be done from the outside. Although what we need to do in here is to create a accessor and a modifier. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a void set hidden 
or we can do a hide actually hide like that and this will be not const will just be a very simple thingy right here actually you know what we can make functions instead functions and then that will be hide and show so void show very simple makes it a little easier for us like that and like this show and let's go back in here so hide would be this hidden equals true and then we'll do this hidden equals false very simple and then we can do more things in these if we want we don't have to as of yet but uh this, this should be good all right so now we have a few things set up we can go into our character player gy tabs.cpp and we're gonna go and check if we can do some kind of hiding and unhiding here uh first of all let's see if we're updating this so player gui.cpp i don't think we have an update for it we do have a render for it so let's check that first actually we don't have a render and not an update either okay good that's our first step then so we have the exp bar hp bar void in this h file actually let's open the h file for player gui and let's create them here so we're initializing it but we're not updating it so void update player gui tabs or player tabs simple copy this paste it right here and then we'll do void render whoops render like that and we'll put it into one of these targets here good define this and also define this nice very good job go back in here and you'll see that we should have these functions defined for us now good and since we're checking the hidden in the tab itself we don't have to check it here so we can just update our this player gui gui let's see what is player tabs it's called update good and then we'll do a render on it render target like that boom uh, very nice and we'll dereference that target as well okay so we'll do the address of i wasn't thinking clearly here um, but this for example it takes a reference player tabs let's go to player tabs actually uh, player gui tabs dot cpp and we'll see we have a pointer here let's do that a reference give that a reference instead player gui tabs dot h as well open that and go into render and make that a reference so reference reference and then we will go to our tab dot h and make that a reference as well tab dot cpp we don't have to do anything character tab dot cpp make it a reference and then player character tab dot h character tab dot h go ahead and make that a reference so wherever you have a pointer for target make it a reference instead don't forget to save all this stuff uh, and then we'll just do a target dot instead of the arrow in character tab dot cpp so hopefully that didn't go too fast for you but then we don't have to do all that so we'll just use it as a reference right now it, it's fine it's cool we don't have to worry too much about that we can still give it another target so there we go now we're rendering and updating it but we're not calling them here so this player tabs this up render player tabs on target easy as that simple as that and then we'll do this update on here player tabs and now we can do things in here now we don't have to worry about this we have the player gui working we have everything working but we need that hiding mechanism and i'm i'm wondering if i'm going to do that in here most probably i'm going to do it in here so a very simple way to check that is if sf keyboard is key pressed sf keyboard let's say c 
Okay, C. And then we're gonna do this character tab dot hide like that or show. I think it's hidden, no, hide. Okay. And then we need to get that somehow as well. But let's try this first of all. Let's see if it runs. Okay, so it should be rendering. First of all, it's rendering. So if I press C, it went away. Perfect, right? Perfect. That's exactly what we want. And uh, all good to go. Now, the next step is to just get that somehow. We need to see what the status of the character tab is. So go into your tab.h. So we have show in the hide, but we also need an accessor and show void get hidden. And this will just return const bool reference get hidden. There we go. And then a const after as well. Define that and it will show up in tab.cpp. And this will just return, very simply, return this hidden. Very easy, right? Good to go, good to go. So now once that's done, we can check it in our player GUI CPP, player GUI tabs.cpp, sorry, and see if this character tab dot get hidden. So if it's true, it is hidden, I will show it. Else I will hide it. Like that. And this is gonna be very fast. It's gonna blink because we're we're not we don't have any key time here. But at least you'll see it's actually actually working. You know? We just need the key time. That's all we need. We need a key time variable to work on this work on this GUI. So there you go guys. Now we have something hiding and showing. Uh, hopefully we can fix this with the key binds in a bit and see what key binds we want to hide and show all these things we need to register those as well all that stuff so make it real nice but for this this video we're pretty much done uh, i just want you to think about what we're doing if you look at the image how we're thinking here and what the end product should be and if you decide to do it any other way you can do it uh, if you're following along exactly like i'm doing that's great as well but do experiment try some things out uh, the code is on github just so you guys know so you don't have to worry about messing it up you can just copy the code again um, and it's the link is in the description so there you go thank you so much for watching take care drop a like subscribe and i'll see you in the next one right bye bye